I'm now done with taking my lunch. And now I want to drink water. It's always a norm and the feelings of the body that whenever you have eaten something, we are being advised to take water. This water is very cold. It's coming directly from our organic and natural fridge over here in the village. That's called a pot. A very clean water. You look the way it is. I remember we were being told that before you take it, drop little drop on the ground for our ancestors. So I've done that. I'm going to drink this water. I'm now feeling so cool. Hey. I'm doing this as I look after the cows. And right here you can see I'm looking after the cows. There are very many. Some are up there. And this brings a very cool and calm evening in the village. Peaceful environment and that's what we always need. Now I'm done with my lunch. I want to find a snack to add on. After lunch, I have to add the snacks. And right here is the groundnut. And this was I'm going to use as my snacks. Trying to survive on this lunch on a zero dollar. So I'm going to take three pieces. Then I'll have to enjoy. So this is how it is over here, this whole groundnut, directly from the farm and purely organic. I'm looking after the cows because that sometimes becomes my daily routine. Whenever I'm at home, I need to check on the cattle. If they are okay, I also feel very okay. And so it's my routine to look after them. There are several and very many right here. So I must ensure that they have hid and they have found something to eat. It's a real life in the village. Now I want to enjoy this as my snack. After taking lunch. This groundnut. Have to chew it. A life in Africa, life in the village. When you tell me to leave the village, I'll never do that. Because we are living the life the fullest. This is my bag, I carry it always. Because it's a source of internet that I use while doing my videos. I'll not mind showing you this beautiful trees because it's always provide us with the warm welcoming the nice birds. We have got around here very amazing and nice ones. This is the real life in the village. Let's have the feelings of the bird from this top beautiful tree. And it's bring a real natural life. It's a true life in the village. And if you wish to have a peaceful mind, a peaceful rest, visit the village. You'll really enjoy your best. And that's why you choose to be in the village.
I always wanted to have my own life and to enjoy my own life. And that's what I choose to have. The cows are really giving me hectic time because they want to come and eat this maize here. I've just rushed to check on this cow because when they find a minute with this, they'll have to crush it within no minute. I don't know how they feel it's tasty. And when they, you give them this one, they'll celebrate like that's their Christmas day. So I need to be very careful and get close to them at all the time, just to keep watch and to protect this maze here. It is being dried so that we can take it to the fossil mill to change it into flour. And then it can be eaten with ugali. That's the real life over here still. We have several cows. I'm just grazing these cows today because it seems like it's my turn to come and control them and to make sure they have eaten something. The beautiful cat and the beautiful dog. The lifestyle they live in the village it's quite amazing because they only don't depend on food that we eat, we cook. But sometimes they find their own food like rats and other animals. There is this big tree here that I want to give a little story about. Long, long time ago, when we used to play at my grandmother's place, that's my grandmother's house, this tree used to have these small animals. I don't know how we call them, but over here they are called Ongino. If you can check on this tree right keenly, there are some black black animals living here, moving up and down. And these are the animals. We used to bite as thoroughly. If you go there, without you knowing, then they systematically climb on you everywhere. Then they attack you. Someone was asking me the other day about this, if they are fruits or not. But I said, no. They are not fruits, but they are just being produced from this kind of tree. They are the seeds from this tree. But also, it's something so amazing for birds. Birds always come and to crack on them as their own food. And so it's very helpful for their birds. Our video for today is all about showing you what's happening, life in the village, the real life in the village, and how sometimes we overcome this super calm and cool life in the village. We have amazing and cool sets over here, and after taking lunch, you can chill somewhere. Automatically, that will tell that you are done with the daily day's work. Hi guys, so right here is another activity that's going on. And uh, that's Modesta now. Today we say that we have to dry up our maize that we harvested on the past season. So it's all out here. And so right there, what it's doing, it's doing really, really As we take them to the store for the next day use. And that's how it is. You know, we are farmers, guys. And I especially mean I really love farming. But all of us, we really love farming. So he keeps it, and that's how it's happening. It's real life in the village, guys. So stay tuned as we are showing you what you are doing, how you are doing it, making it real uh, for better tomorrow, guys. A family that works, prays together, lives together. So we live together. I want to join her in doing this before in taking them then to the store and that's how we'll be doing it. Step by step showing you our journey on YouTube and how things are in the village. It's a real calm day over here from East Africa. We are in our home as you can see. That's our house. I'm gonna zoom around. That's our house. It's a cool 
It's a cold environment where I live. Manoro. Uh -uh. Water man. So we are going to carry this. We are going to take that one to the store. Then we're gonna come for another one, guys. So that's how it is. A real life in the village, making everything look real and amazing.